I've never seen a camera like this before, and I've Dan explained it to you, most notably, is the eyepiece unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. A, cl a clear, crisp, amazing, incredible. Uh, Dan, t tell us all about this camera. Well, first thing I can say is that Nikon versus Canon, the lens quality, there's really no difference. I found that this uh, Nikon FE2 had just the features that I was looking for. So let me go ahead and uh, try and uh, walk you around the camera. Um, first off, as Mike was saying, uh, the viewfinder, you won't be able to see it in there, but it's very, very bright. Um, uh, we were passing around 35 millimeter cameras and looking through the uh, Pentax K1000 or the Canon AE-1 program, uh, they were just a little bit paler than what you saw through the Nikon FE2. You've got uh, your viewfinder there, you've got your hot shoe up top, um, you've got a shutter speed wheel, which you can either leave on automatic exposure, which is aperture priority, dictated by the lens, or you could take it off of A and go from anywhere from bulb, of course, M250, which is your default mechanical shutter speed of 1 250th of a second, and then your, your electronic shutter speeds range all the way from 8 seconds down to 1 4,000th of a second. One of the cool features of this camera is right by the film advance lever is a little tab. And if you hold that down and advance the film, it will recock the shutter, but it won't advance the film. So you get a double exposure. Well, though, one warning, though, um, rather than just pulling up on your uh, film rewind lever to pop the back open, there's a little tab here you have to shift to the side, which will unlock it, and then you can pull up. Similar to the K1000, um, the Nikon FE2 features a light meter inside the viewfinder uh, using not one, but two meters, or, or needles, I should say. Oh, why yeah. is that? Well, there's one needle that moves with the different apertures, and there's another needle that moves with the different shutter speeds that you select. So along the left side of the viewfinder, you see uh, the two needles, and your goal is to make them match up. Oh. So pick a shutter speed that you like, and then adjust the aperture until the, the needles match up. Super, super sharp images. Very nice. Yeah, I can't recommend uh, this camera enough. Is this a basic camera for someone to pick up, or is this a step up? It's kind of middle of the road. It seems a little more premium, Mike. Okay, very good. If anybody has any questions about the Nikon FE2 -E camera, you can always send a question to us at podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. And uh, I'll be happy. If you have a question, happy to answer your question. Uh, we're on the internet radio twice a month. You can go to filmphotographypodcast.com to find our radio show. If you have iTunes, you can find us there, and we're on twice a month. So until next time...